here at Paradise School in Goa, founded by the inspirational, brave and courageous Shilpa Mehta. Because I'm a journalist and that's my background, I looked at it in terms of ideas, that what are the ideas at the forefront of education, that if we were to reinvent schools, how would we do it in the 21st century? I started to look into all the ideas, I came across Sugata Mitra's uh, self-organised learning environments, which is SOUL, mm -hmm. and when we really unravel what's inside children, it's an amazing universe, and that they have the answers, and they have good directions, and they have purpose and meaning. It's a very free school. You're free to learn however you want at your own pace. It's not really spoon feeding that much. You know, you do everything by yourself. Uh, well, it's giving me the environment where I can become an individual and kind of prepare myself for the bigger world. We are the next generation. Once the, our, the generation before us is done, they're older. We have to lead the way, right? We have to run the world. So we need a good education as a foundation for our future. We have to change it, to be honest, and to do that we need to have a different approach to looking at stuff, understanding stuff, and to do that it all comes from education, right? Sometimes in traditional schools and even in alternative schools to an extent, uh, every concept, every topic that's covered ends with an assessment which means that the child already knows that I'm going to be evaluated at the end of it. There is going to be a judgment passed on how much I remember, I recall, how much I've understood. Uh, but at the end of a soul session, uh, there is no real um, formal assessment that's happening. Yeah. So I, I feel like children end up enjoying it a lot more. You have children who are visual learners, so they would prefer watching a video and exploring the topic. Mm. Whereas you have learners who are more mathematically inclined, who are more interested in looking at graphs and statistics and understanding. So even within a soul, um, you know, it, it is very personalized in terms of how a student is learning about a topic. Listen to these kids a little bit more. A lot of times, um, they're just not heard. Mm. That they just want to be heard. Children should be allowed to discover for themselves, especially in this time when, when uh, the future that's beckoning is so confusing and unstable and unpredictable that how can we like authentically prepare children for that? Well, we have to make them very well anchored in themselves and able to handle complexity with agility right, and with self-confidence. We want to be able to let you know that there's so much support for what you're doing. I think that there's a, a real feminine nature. Yes. Um, and, you know, a more eloquent sort of description about feminine, the sacred feminine. Yes. But not a place of traditionally seen as something that's quite weak and, mm. like, you know, if everybody's chatting to each other, nothing gets done. Mm. You're demonstrating that something's very different. There's something really brave and honest about just going with it and seeing what emerges. Because in reality, that is the only way. Yeah. Everybody else who has these big detailed plans and aims and goals and stuff, yeah. they're also wait and see what emerges. But you have to take risks, you see. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit braver. Way. It's a bit brave. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shilpa Mehta and I love you. Today. Yeah, I spent the day at Paradise School, which was um, inspiring. A lot of amazing work happening to change how young people feel in their own education, taking responsibility for their learning and self-directed learning, which is powerful. Great conversations with the team there, the teachers there. Really nice vibration, really nice vibe in the school. Yeah. Shop is doing amazing things, kind of a real force of nature. Yeah. Uh, driving through stuff and getting stuff done. Um, it was really clear that the kids there are 
really enjoying education. Um, they don't feel judged. They don't feel that they, they, you know, they shouldn't make any mistakes. They seem to value just giving everything a go. One thing I'll take away today was the thing about emergence and things emerging and seeing yeah. how they go through without any real massive intentions, seeing what happens and similar to what we're doing here in I Love Youth Work, we're turning up and uh, having the conversation, seeing and trusting that it'll go to a place that is of value yeah. to us and, and to, to anybody watching. Yeah. Um, I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying tonight, this evening. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining us on this journey.